It's Geek Miss. Yes! Merry Geek Miss! Ho, 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 nerdlings! Do you nerd for holiday themed geek culture? guys know we love our events and conventions and everything and especially the ones that are local it doesn't matter how big how small they are mm -hmm. if we can make it we love to check them out because it's always so much fun one you see all of your con buddies yes. there you know first and foremost people love to make that circuit you get to see those familiar faces mm -hmm. but two it's just so cool to be around these like-minded people mm -hmm. that love all the nerdy and geeky stuff that you're into the energy is oh, seriously yeah. the best part. And we were actually invited to come along to Geekmas 2019. We've got some local uh, geeky groups, Fanatics and the Fan, as well as Pop Goes the Culture. They were putting this on. We saw some uh, some other familiar con faces, we did, we like did. Nerd Informants, uh, mm -hmm. our buddy Josh from, yes, from the Comic from the Cave. Comic Cave. There were lots of vendors on hand. and some fun cosplayers and they had a nice costume contest. they did which was so cool mm -hmm. and there were some uh some holiday themed ones in there that there were, were really some good, good holiday themed ones there was even uh, a moment where we were doing a bunch of giveaways and there was even a big giveaway that we sadly didn't win <laughs> but they were giving away a 3d printer So lots so, of fun yeah, things going on. So yeah, there was lots of stuff going on. Now the space for uh, Geekmas, it wasn't a huge space, but that was honestly <laughs> fine because let's face it, it took it easy on your feet. <laughs> it did, and they utilized the space very, very well. They had a yeah, small space for vendors, then they had a space for gaming, and then they had a space for board games, and then they had a panel room, which was what we got invited to do. We got invited to do another panel there, so that was fun. I will say we never actually even heard about Geekmas until Pop Goes the Culture invited us to do a panel there. And so we didn't exactly know what to expect when we right. were going to this. We fell in love with it instantly. Almost the minute we walked in the door and I can tell you we will be looking forward to this every year. And this is basically why we like to do what we do guys because we love to point out things that you don't necessarily know are going on. Yeah, it's easy to miss some of these small conventions and everything especially around the holidays. Let's face mm -hmm. it, all of our minds are elsewhere at the time. So being able to know that stuff like this is happening definitely makes for a nice little break from all the holiday shopping. Yes. What is this set for? Jesus. These guys set up a very nice program. I just wanted to point out on the back, it gives you a nice little map so you know where to find everything. And on the inside, you've got your schedule. Something kind of cool is they had a movie room and they were doing everything from uh, the, oh my gosh, the Star Wars Holiday Special. Whip, whip, stir, <laughs> stir, whip, whip, stir. Whip, whip, stir. Come on, faster all together now. But they had some fun stuff in there, like uh, the Space Ghost Coast to Coast Christmas Special and things like Buffy the Vampire Slayer. You know, things that you know, really envelop all of those fandoms. But of course, they also had uh, some fun little special guests, you know, whether you're into writing, uh, there was some voice acting and uh, <laughs> representing collecting. I love seeing Josh's name there. Ah, <laughs> uh, yeah. And then the times and schedule for the panels. All right, nerdlings, this has got to be your favorite part. Let's check out the pickups. Well, even if it's not your favorite part, it's, it's definitely my favorite her. part. <laughs> First things first, 
this lovely little man over here <laughs> surprised me. I have been really getting into Pokemon lately, and I've really fallen in love with Mimikyu. Mimikyu and Eevee are my two favorite Pokemons, and um, these were adorable little handmade crafts from our lovely friends at Cammy's Creations. And these were so adorable. There was a little tiny one and a big one, and I was having the hardest time deciding between the two, which one to get, which one to get. And of course, she was being a good salesman. She's like, well, get them both. You got a travel Mimikyu and then a home <laughs> cuddly Mimikyu. And I was like, oh, I know, but I just don't know. And then he does what he does best, and he just whips out his wallet and goes, we'll take both. And I can honestly say I'm sure I was glowing from there because I know my eyes lit up and I was super excited. I got a travel Mimikyu and a home Mimikyu. Was it Bonnet? <laughs> <laughs> and I carried them around like this the whole... She did. And we didn't even have to put them in the barrel. <laughs> no. And since we've been home, where have these been? Uh, right there. Right here, like this. Yeah. <laughs> what can I say? <sighs> That's how you do it. He knows how to get the points, but... They're just so freaking cute. I would like to say, though, this is exactly why we love going to these events and seeing these awesome vendors, because there are always so many clever, crafty, skilled people oh, there yeah. making all kinds of fun this stuff. This is a good size. And with all of the events that we go to, we don't always see the same people. Mm -hmm. You know, some people do make that con circuit. Other people do not. So we would have totally missed out on this because mm -hmm. I don't think that we've run across them at any others. Nope, not yet. Super cute. Okay, what else did we get? Well, of course we had the DK barrel with us. Oh my gosh. It's pretty heavy. Yeah, that's a bad idea. So there was a little bit of a story behind this. Right before the panel ended, they did a quick uh, quiz and anyone, panelists and guests at the show, could answer the questions and it's funny that you mentioned the uh, holiday special so what is Chewbacca's son's name? I apologize then and I apologize <laughs> now that I knew his son was named Lumpy. Thank you Pop Goes the Culture. It is a awesome for, soft blanket. Yeah this awesome Super Mario Brothers blanket and I mean let's face it you could not have found a better place for this. Mm -hmm. He's so soft. <laughs> so, this one has a little bit of a story too. <laughs> now, why don't you hold this? Because this was this was for you. As the day was coming to an end, after the cosplay contest, they were having a raffle with some tickets that they'd been passing out all day. So they passed out tickets during the day. They passed out some more tickets right before this raffle began, and then they were drawing them randomly. Here's the problem: <laughs> they had so many things to give away. And a lot of people had already left at this point. So, whereas some people did win by that random draw, after a while, I believe it was Hawk who was like, you know what? He was basically passing stuff out in a way that would have made Oprah proud. He was like, hey, did yep. you win something? Here you go. Did you win something? Here you go. <laughs> and one of the things that she got from that yep. moment... And the funny thing is, I wasn't even watching or expecting it. He was literally standing next to me and he just goes, here. And I was like, oh, okay, thanks. So we got a cool Harley Quinn pillow. And it goes great with the blanket because now we can take a nap. Okay, stop that. <laughs> hey, good looking. What you got cooking? There you go. Thanks. Thanks. Now this one, we did legit win did, in yes. that random drawing. So this is Warhammer Underworld's Night Vault. I'm not going to lie, I know nothing about this tabletop game. It says the ultimate competitive miniature game. Miniatures game. Well, it does look like it has some really cool pieces in here. Uh, it looks like it is for just two players, so that is wow. quite a setup for just two people. And it people. also says build your own character and it gives a time of 30 minutes which is always nice it's nice to know how long a game is going yeah. to be although i wonder if that 30 minutes includes the uh, setup time i'm gonna guess not no probably not <laughs> well this will be fun especially being a two-player game you and i can check this one out and, and see how fun it is i like the cover art yeah that is very cool hey let's do this again oh there was a lot of that going on. This came from the front of the room, though. At least the pillow came from the side. This was at the front of the room. They said, who hasn't got, who hasn't won anything yet? And I just raised my hand and they threw this at me. 
It is a pillowcase for Hulk. Hulk, smash your head onto me. <laughs> or apparently a Halloween mask. He's very gurry. The nice thing is it looks like a rough burlap, but it's not actually. Actually, rough. yeah, it is very it's soft. When soft. you look at this, it's like, ah, oh, it's gonna be scratchy. It's not. Back out on the floor. We made a couple purchases. And I got this from the Whimsical Giraffe. Oh, she loves her little I bags. I do love my bags, my totes, my pouches, anything like that. She actually had this in a purse. And I liked it, but I didn't really need a, a big old like purse about it. But when I saw it in a little zipper pouch, I thought this is great because I can put like my makeup bag or brushes or pencils or something in there. This one I really like. This one really drew me to the table. I liked the potions bottles all over it. And I really like this little dongle, a nice little added touch that she did there with the little jewel. And then, and they are lined with a different kind of fabric on the inside, which is always a nice touch. This one's got like cute little bats and cats and bugs and all kinds of stuff. So I thought these were, these were really great handmade zipper bags. A new to us vendor was Celestial Embers Art and they had some really fun and different yeah, pieces. Yeah, they did. I can definitely say I'm going to be keeping an eye out of them at uh, any more conventions that we go to. They had some really great pieces. You've got this, uh, Nice little, what, what do you think, a little fairy house maybe? Yeah, maybe a little fairy house. At first, originally I was thinking like a hobbit hole, but it's it's more of a fairy house. Him and I both were really drawn to the small details type things that they were doing, like the little bushes and everything. You've got little flowers on the bushes. The other thing that we were drawn to was this piece right here. And it's like a little, I would, this makes me think of maybe an Ireland, like on the coastline. You've got like that. a lighthouse. There's a little well right here, your little farmhouse and little sheep. And the thing that's so cool about this is the each sheep is like a little individual sheep. His face is an individual, like little black thing. The stones in the well are all um, one little stone at a time on the well. And it's also a neat idea that she just grabbed a rock and you know put the the clay on top of the rock because it gives it you know that a nice hill and everything for it it's just a really interesting piece there's all just a lot going on with it and then the thing that actually drew my eye to the table <laughs> was this adorable teacup so you know you've just got just a nice antique looking teacup with just a nice little thing on it but when you turn it and look inside there there's a little friend living in there <laughs> and it's just so stinking cute you've just got this cute little octopus in there and you know his tentacles are kind of coming up up and out of the the jar there he's got some like rocks underneath him he's even holding like a i don't know if that's like a air bubble or like a jewel in one of his tentacles and then they put clear acrylic over it to look like water and you know his tentacles are even coming out of the water but it's just i don't know there's just something about it they're just so cute this is the kind of stuff we're always on the lookout for when we go to these events and conventions because this is such outside of the box thinking whether it's making a little you know landscape starting with a rock if it's just putting those uh those clay skills to the test and creating a little scene or taking something that you may find in a flea market giving it a new purpose a new mm -hmm. life and making it this fun cute unique little piece of art the last thing that we picked up was Epic Monster Tea Party. We had the absolute pleasure of getting to play this yes. game with Deanna of Playco Games. And first of all, guys, you may want to check this one out. It's super easy to set up. It's very easy to play mm -hmm. once you've got the, the concept down. And I think it is... Right now it's a four-player game, but they're getting ready to start a Kickstarter that will add two more characters to the game, so you can add six characters now. It's a nice, quick play, mm -hmm. and the it's got all kinds of fun artwork from the different monsters to the different heroes. I love that it's a nice, small, compact game, too. So it fits in bags really well, and we're just going to have endless fun with this one. I'm really looking forward to the Kickstarter, too. Of course, the thing that sold us was getting to play it. Just a reminder, whenever you go to these events, take the time to maybe sit down. If you like your tabletop mm -hmm. games, card games, anything like that, try some of these out, especially when you're there with one of the creators, because what better way are you going to get a feel for how that game plays? 
And, uh, yeah. And let's face it, if you get to play with the creator, if you've got questions, they're the person to ask. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> well, nerdlings, Geekmas was a lot of fun. Uh, lot I of mean, fun. we picked up a lot of things, but it's fun stories and memories of knowing trivia you shouldn't know. <laughs> <laughs> Finding cool new creations, playing cool new games, getting a new game to try out, and, uh, you know, getting pillows just hurled at you. Because, hey, you won. Catch. Again, as always, guys, whenever you find out about a local convention, no matter the size, go check it out. Show your support. See what you're missing out on. And they are really great places to learn about other upcoming conventions. You know, keep that cycle going so you can hit some more events. I would love for you guys to give the video a like if you happen to like it. Leave some comments down below about anything that you saw, about anything that we picked up here. Also, subscribe. Hit that notification bell. This isn't our last event. No, 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 no. <laughs> Don't forget to like us on Facebook and Twitter and Instagram so that you can see what the next event is that we're going to. Go over to Tee Public because we've got merchandise over there, nerdlings. And before we go, I would just like to say to everybody, fanatics and the fan, Pop Goes the Culture, thank you so much for putting on an incredible event like Geekmas, for getting all of the people that managed to show up for getting them all there under yes. one roof into one room that was so awesome we all had of your, such a good time all of your efforts definitely are appreciated and did not go unnoticed and hey thank you for letting us know about it and inviting us along because we had so much fun yes. oh and uh one more note i feel like almost the most important note they passed out a special award they someone. did a lifetime achievement award to someone who is so deserving of it yes very mr josh roberts got the lifetime achievement award because everybody can attest that he has influenced their geekness and their geek culture and their love of anything nerdy pretty much probably have probably stemmed from josh <laughs> definitely everybody got a josh story so. you know uh we we used to talk about the comic cave so much mm -hmm. we revered it so much it was our absolute favorite comic book nerd headquarters shop in yeah. town we always loved going there and we miss it we do severely yes i just want to say real quick Josh was the type of man who he embraced whatever your fandom, your nerdom, your geekdom mm -hmm. was, and he helped that grow. He wanted to make sure that you found something to help that grow because he always encouraged you to like the things that yeah. you liked and to collect what you loved. Yeah, and he never judged anything that you liked or didn't like. He is the reason I got into comic books. He encouraged that, aside from you, <laughs> but I mean, he really, really, you know, anytime I had a question, he was right there to answer it, so. And he he was always so personable to everybody and I would love to see especially the kids that would come into his comic shop the way their eyes would light up mm -hmm. whenever he would find something you know it's like here this comic that you like you know what I'm gonna throw that in there for free go ahead and take that with you yep. or he would have artwork on the wall oh, by yeah. the kids mm -hmm. I mean you couldn't have found a more caring more awesome guy like Josh You said it best. He absolutely deserved that. The most deserving of the Lifetime Achievement Award. It's kind of downhill from here. Who are they going to give it to next year? <laughs> Once more, happy holidays, guys. And... Don't forget, nerdlings, if we like it... We nerd it. For Geekmas. For Geekmas. Merry Geekmas! I holiday no, I don't. <laughs> okay. Just cut me off. That was stupid. <coughs> Ready? Cut it out, Tom. Because uh what better way to to what am I trying to say? What are you trying to say, Tom? What are you trying to say? He's sitting there at the computer looking at me. Jingle bells! <laughs>